Hello, I'm Johnny and today is a lovely foggy day but it's really clammy so if you can hear a noise it's me fan in the background. So today I woke up full of inspiration and um, I've been thinking about getting into watercolours. Um, I used to do them a few years ago but I was no good at it and I do love watercolours so I thought I would look at a tutorial on YouTube and I followed along to it. So I'll show you the picture. Uh, there, it's this um, butterfly on a flower. It's not very good, but I quite enjoy doing it. And I'm a bit impatient. I mean, I do love watercolours, but they take ages to dry. And as you can see, I've smudged a bit here because I was just dying to get into the uh, line work of the butterfly. And I never left this bit to dry before I went to finish the petals off, so it's all bled in. And on the tutorial, as was just so lifelike, and mine is not. But you learn by your mistakes, so I will be keeping this. I keep all of my artwork, all of my mistakes. It's nice to look back on, isn't it? See if you've improved. Yes, so um, it's a butterfly on a flower. There's not more you can say about it. I don't know if you see it properly. The and uh, what uh, watercolors? I used uh, the peerless watercolors. Um, I did swatch them, but I can't find my swatches. So I was sort of like it took me ages mixing the colors and guessing which was the colors. So, yes, that's all I can say about that. Oh, how much, uh, what paper did I use? The paper I used is got, has got texture, quite like texture, but as you can see, I've went around the petals with um, coloured pencil and it's not very good on textured paper. But never mind, you learn, don't you? <clears throat> And the paper I used was Artspace Aquarelle block paper. And it's got these um, cool little, I forget what you call them, but you can mix your colours on them. A palette. It's got disposable palettes. So, but I never used them. I just used me. Um, <clears throat> I love this um, ceramic palette. I just used this. I just love where it's um, all the grey, the glaze is cracked, and I mean you can feel it, the cracks, but um, all the colours I've used over the years, it's uh, gone into the cracks. It's quite nice. I love it, and it was only cheap. It cost me about three quid on eBay. Um, all these books aren't here for props, but um, I think I'll have to shift them out the way. <clears throat> I'm going to do a few videos because uh, I'm getting back into watercolours so I've got some books so I'll be showing them off so I won't get into it now look I've got no space to move stuff and I'm going to start um, drawing birds because <clears throat> I just love birds um, so this video was a request by one of my subscribers, um, Lizzie Barry. She just loves colouring in. Uh, she might have some good news soon, but I won't give any details away. There I tell you. So yeah, she wanted me to do a colouring in video. So I didn't think I'd have time this week, but I'm going to squeeze it in. Because um, I don't do many of them. Scroll out a bit. Yeah, so it's this uh, book. I don't think I've done any pages in this. I just uh, love uh, the illustrations in it and just all the colours on the front. Um, so it's, what did I say it was? Mythographic, colour and discover, imagine, an artist's colouring book of fantastic wells and hidden objects. I don't really look for the hidden objects, but probably find a few while I'm colouring them in. And the pencils I'm going to be using is where I got in my, one of my artful boxes that I have now cancelled. I should have done better organising the colours I was going to use, but 
I'm not really into organising, so... Stop babbling, Johnny, let's get into it. And I chose this one to do... Oh, look. I think I'll have to pause you and get more organised. Well, this one I chose to do is because I absolutely love mushrooms. And it's got mushroom, loads of mushrooms on it. I think it's supposed to be a creepy hermit crab. Yeah, so I will be doing that. I'm, I think I'm going to get a pencil pot. Because they're doing my head and rolling all over. Back. And what's nifty about this book is, is that it's got serrated, is that the word? Serrated edges, so if you... Do a masterpiece, you can pull it out and stick it on your wall. Right, I don't think I'll be doing that, I'll just be keeping them in the book for reference. Because I'm no colourist, but um, it's been, my gimbal's been a bit dodgy, it's been like a mind of its own, wiggling all over, but I think I've got it sorted. So, first colour. Um, I think I'll do a lightish yellow over the might have to take my glasses off over the mushrooms can you see that yes oh and my pencil pot i love this pencil pot i'm always worried about my hand covering up stuff do I need to scroll? Am I scrolled in here? Come on. No, that's out. It's only got uh, two views. It's a bit daft. Well, I've had my phone for about four years, so... And I've got no intention of getting an upgrade because I just love it. I'm saving up for a camera, so... And a tripod. I'm finding it really difficult to save lately. There's just loads and loads of sales on. And with me losing weight, I've just had like loads of fat claws. I've been buying like smaller sizes because I've dropped two sizes. I mean, I don't pay a fortune for claws. And I'm not really into labels and that, but as long as they're comfortable and they're easy on the eye. Yeah, I haven't been doing many videos lately because I'm going on holiday next month. Just four days in the Lake District. My favourite place in the world. The Lake District. So I went in the loft to get um, the camping, well, the tent out because I wanted to waterproof it. And I went up there and wore a mess. You could hardly move. So I thought I'll sort the loft out. So as I was sorting through stuff, I got about six was six to eight bin bags of stuff for the charity shop. And um, there was loads of stuff I had um, up there, like collections. I uh, like collecting Tim Burton figurines, A Nightmare Before Christmas, The Corpse Bride, and a few... What sort? Are the freaky toys? I like them, and I used to keep them on display in my glass cabinet, but I've been making quite a lot of art dolls, and I've been keeping them in my glass cabinet, and in boxes, because I don't want my pussycat glamming all over them and breaking them. So I had to put my collections in the loft, which is a shame, because I just loved looking at them. So I thought, I'll sell them. Somebody will get better use out of them, there's no good just sitting in the loft. And there was um, quite a few, I used to like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, quite a bit, figurines and props and stuff. And I put, uh, it was just a bulk lot, I wasn't going to sell them separate. But I noticed that one of them, from the Angel spin-off from Buffy, Illyria, um that's a uh, highly collectible. Well, I've got that, so I thought I'd put that on separate. 
So then that will be a sell all that lot. Savings. I mean I won't need much for my camping trip because it's only um a hundred pound for four days for the site because um I don't want an electric site because who the hell wants to take a television and a hairdryer camping? It's just not what you do at camping, is it? Um, choose another colour, might go a little bit. They look highly fluorescent. What colour is that? Lemon yellow, yes. I see where a bit of grey does over it. Probably look gross. Yeah, so where was I at? Yeah, so I um, chose a, a non electric. I mean, I'll only be taking my phone, but just not to go on the internet, it'll just be like for emergencies or for me alarm. Um, so I'm just going to take one of those power banks and I mean I can always charge it up on my car. Yes, I am really looking forward to that and I still haven't waterproofed the tent. But my flat is just piled high with boxes and it was so messy and I got a um, what do you call those? Cordless vacuum cleaner. Never had one of them before. It was in a sale. And that was just so handy. Sweeping around the boxes. Getting into the nooks and crannies. Right. I'll just have a look. I don't know if that's got a muddy colour. Does any party put grey over yellow? Well. Maybe add a bit of brown. See, I'm no colourist, but it's just an experiment to see what goes. Yeah, and then there's the claws, me fat claws. Um, there was quite a few fat claws, boxes of it, that I hadn't worn. Nearly brand new. So, I'm going to, I've got a mannequin. Six foot three, same height as me, mannequin. And I'll be putting the claws on him, styling them and selling them. Because when you look on eBay and you see these people selling clothing. And it's just on a hanger or hung over a door. And you like to see what it looks like on the person, don't you? So that's what I'll be doing. Get some more pennies to go into me savings. Because I'll have to stop buying art supplies. <clears throat> Just love art supplies. And I've got so, so much. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to stop that. I mean, it'll last me a lifetime. And I was going to go through my art supplies, see what stuff that uh, I didn't use, I didn't want, and sell that. But um, I've noticed lately I'm trying out different things, so I don't want to be getting rid of stuff that I might... One to try out in the future. So, more storage needed. Oh, and books as well. Oh, I just love books. And one of my subscribers recommended a book to me. What was it? Um... How to Journal, Wildlife Journaling by, what's his name? I think I've got his bird book here. Uh, the Lord's Guide to Drawn Birds. I've got that and he suggested if I get the journal one. Uh, the reason why I didn't get it is because I don't journal. But uh, he said it's got loads of uh, different creatures in, insects and fish and stuff like that. And I really want to get into drawn insects. Not so much fish. It was mainly birds. Anyway, I was uh, looking at it. The cheapest price I could get it for was £19. And I thought, oh, I'll go for it. It was 24 on Amazon. Bought it off eBay. Yes, it looks really good. So... Well, these mushroom stalks still look fluorescent. I mean, the greys uh, darkened them a bit. I think I might do um, 
Maybe it's a bit of a, a brown and not brown, let's see. Oh yeah, that's nice, huh? I um I got some art as a brush pens a few years ago. The watercolour ones. I'll probably mention this in one of my videos, but you might not have seen it. And um I tried them out for the first time and a fluke. I done a mushroom, drew a mushroom and coloured it in and it was just absolutely brilliant. Anyway, I tried again and couldn't do it. And I just didn't really like the pens. I prefer to use um, the watercolours out the palettes. But yeah, what a fluke. Now, I haven't tested to see how many times you can lay with these pencils. But they seem to be, this is the third lot, they seem to be okay. And that brown. And I think it looks nice. It's toning the yellow down. Oh, there's a mushroom I've missed, just do the brown. And are these uh, oyster mushrooms? Are they like off white? Oh. I think some of them are brown, I'm not sure. See? I love mushrooms and I haven't done my research. Anyway, the next time I do colouring, a colouring video, I'm just going to come back to this one again. Because the last ones I've done, it's been in other books. But I'll never get a finished piece, will I? Right, I'm just going to pause you for a sec. I need a drink of lemonade. And if I keep the video on, I'll probably spill it all over. Now, I don't know if I've spotted a hidden object. But... I mean, the crab is supposed to be on a beach. There's a sandcastle. So I don't think that'll be a hidden object. And the surfboard, because that's beachy. And I thought that down there was an olive, but it's not. It looks like an oyster. And there's a cocktail. But that's all beachified as well. So, no. I haven't seen any hidden objects yet. Yeah, I think uh, the brown looks uh, quite good over the yellow. Don't worry if I go quiet. It's because I've got nothing to say, which is quite amazing. Because I'm talking usually 24-7. Talk to myself. I talk to me cat. And there's no one around. And I talk to me creations. You know, I went to the opticians to get my eyes sorted, to get some more glasses. And I got some pretty cool ones. But I didn't want bifocals again. Oh, I'll have to go back to the optician. I just can't see very well. I have to take my glasses off all the time. And I can see better without them.
Yeah, so apart from the camping trip, I've got nothing else planned, but I don't really uh, go out much anyway, apart from I just go to work, come back home, do my creations. And I used to go out on a... Now and again, I go out on a Friday night. But um, for the last few months, I've just gone totally off alcohol. So, um, I like to drink a gin and tonic, and it's just making me balk. I just can't drink it. So I've just been drinking um, tonic water or Diet Coke. Strange. I mean, I was never a big drinker. I just like the occasional drink, but... Uh, But I'm happy in my life, and that's all you need at the end of the day, isn't it? Right, do those mushrooms look all right? I want to do um, the tops of the mushrooms quite bright. Because if I do them dull, it's not going to look very good with having dull stalks. So, let me see, and just have a look at these colours. Should we try a uh, red fairy? Is that red or pink? I'll try with a fairy. You think a fairy would be a pink? Mm, let's see. Maybe I'll try with a pink, light pink, and then go over the top with that. Can you see? Yes. So I'll do a few like that. I've been really, really wanting to start another art doll project, but I haven't got the space now with all these boxes hanging around. So what I think I'm going to have to do is get these boxes out the way, and then I'll get cracking. But I have got the space to do um, a bit of sketching, colouring or watercolour. I don't want to keep on lugging the boxes around because some of them are quite heavy. And I'm not so strong. I've got no muscles. I've just got rid of my bingo wings. Right, let's see what this does. Can't see, I'll have to go up close. Close your eyes if you can see me face at the side. Because I look a bit rough this morning. And I haven't brushed my hair. Well, that looks a bit bland and boring. I'll have to add another colour. Right, let's see. What's this colour? Post box red. Oh, I think that'll be a bit too dark. What's this? Cardinal. Now is that lighter? Yeah, Cardinal's lighter. So we'll put this on the top of the mushroom. And down the sides. I mean, I'm not looking perfection, not that I could achieve it with colouring. But um, I want it to look decent. I 
may just have to go over with that ping. Can you see? Yeah, I'm not so keen on that uh, fairy colour. It's neither here nor there. Right, pink again. Oh, and I don't know if you can see, but this is my new table. I mean, it is a bit, um, needs a bit of a clean. But, um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I bought it from Amazon. £129, and it's like, oh, I forgot the measurements. But it fits in my kitchen, and it's got these leaves at the side of it that you can pull out, and it extends. But I was looking to turn it the other way around my kitchen and pull it right out, and I can have my sewing machine, me when I'm like sewing, my sewing machine, me, um, all my fabrics out, and I hate putting stuff all over, but I just want it all on the one table. And it's so much easier. And then I uh, also ordered uh, another table, which was £59 from Amazon. And it folds up, and it's uh, um, like a computer table. And I thought that would be handy, but it weighs a ton, an absolute ton. And I can't lift it. So my partner lifted it for me, and I just thought that might be convenient. If I need the extra space, I could just put the table up. But... When he's not here, I can't move it, so that's no good. But, I mean, it is good, and it is very sturdy. Um, and this one, uh, th this one here, it was uh, unfortunate. When it arrived, it, all the packaging was um, battered, and it looked like 25 people had just trampled all over it. There was footprints everywhere. Um, and there was loads of that ahead, you know the fragile tape, stuck all over it. It looked like the box had dropped to bits and someone just stuck it up with all this tape. Anyway, so I was like, I thought, oh god, it's going to be damaged inside. So I opened it up and I seen this little like crack on it on the side. And I thought to myself, oh well, that's fine, fair enough little bit of damage that'll be fine just look like cosmetic but as I unbox the rest of it it wasn't cosmetic it was split right the way through on both sides of the table um, and then I noticed a few more cracks so I got straight onto the company um, showed them pictures and said can you come and collect it I used a whole roll of my fragile tape to wrap it all up again um, and yeah so they didn't get back to me it was about four days I think and then they just thanked me for sending the pictures and they said um, you can have a, it for 50% off so like 65 quid and I said uh, no I could buy a cheaper one for that uh, and it would be wouldn't be broken um, I said, I just want a refund. Can you come and collect it? And then they got back to me the next day and said, would you accept it as a gift? And we will give you a full refund. So, yes. I thought, well, I could try and fix it. So I got my money back and kept the table. I tried to repair it with wood glue. But what I realised is, on the pictures it looked like, I mean, I know, you wouldn't get a table of solid wood for £129. But it did look um, really sturdy. And it was that, um, what is it called? Chipboard MDF. It Like when it breaks, it crumbles. It was that. Um, so I tried wood glue. I mean, there was at one point, there was like a screw sticking out the end where a crack had formed. And I tried to glue that on, and I had no luck. So what I did was stick some, I'll show you. Um, and there's a mess under here as well, it's all my boxes. And if you can see, I'll just adjust this. There. Uh, see here, 
there's a big gouge out of it and I tried the um, wood glue and because the screw was sticking it wouldn't hold so I just wrapped this tape over the top and here as well and round the other side it's cracked in three places um, and I mean if the table lasts me a year, lasts me a year I'll have to get another one but um, it seems very sturdy, so I must have done a good job with the tape. But I'll just have to check it every month or so to see if it's stable. Because I don't want it collapsing while I'm in the middle of doing an art doll or something. And breaking everything. So, I do like the table. And I mean, the, I, mean I was going to say the grain, but it's like fake grain. It's uh, really nice. So... Yeah, because my other table that I used to use, I absolutely loved it. I paid 99 pence for it. It was an old-fashioned drop leaf. There was a pub uh, went bankrupt and it was selling all the furniture. And I mean, it was battered and all the paint was coming off. So I just stripped it down and varnished it. And I mean, that's lasted me quite a few years, but then it's just with age just drop into bits why have I left that blank so I was gutted when I had to get rid of that because that saw me through a lot of art dolls and sketches and it was like my baby and that went on its journey along with two guns that were uh, glue guns that were broken So, I don't think I'm doing a very good job of this mushroom. But it adds a bit of colour, doesn't it? Right. Now, should we have a totally different colour? Purple. Ooh. But we should put a lighter layer down. So, what? Oh, and I love this colour as well. Turquoise up at the... Um, what should I put under purple? This light blue. Oh, can you see my fingers? After those peerless paints are absolutely terrible for staining your hands. I've scrubbed my hands so many times and it's still there. Hey, see, and I told you that I wasn't going to be doing much talking. And that the heat has been absolutely unbearable. Me, um, me skin, it just turns brown instantly. And I don't like getting a tan. I like to have milky white skin. And I've tried to cover up as best as I could, but of course, when you're driving, you don't want to be wearing a coat or long sleeves. So, my arms have turned. And then underneath where my um, sleeve of my t-shirt is, I'm milky white. So, and I mean, today it's really foggy, but it's still really warm. It's still clammy. I think I'll have to have another bath, my armpits. My armpits are stinking. But hopefully, I think it's going to rain next week. Because I think um, down south they've got a, um, what's it called, a water pipe ban. We haven't up here. So yes, hopefully it rains. Because I think the plants could do with a good watering, not mine, the plants around the neighbourhood. I live very close to a cemetery, well it's an old Victorian cemetery and it's used as a park now. But I'm sure the trees and the grass will appreciate a good watering. Right, see if this purple goes over here see that feels very waxy and slippy now so i don't know if it's just that color oh 
Is it this blue that I use? No wonder. It's not a... Uh, oh, where have I got that in there for? It's not a colouring in pencil. It's a, one of those uh, erasable pencils. You know, the Faber-Castell with the rubber. What you use for sketching. What a doyle. What's that in there for? No wonder it felt waxy. Yes, I don't think the purple, the purple just seems to be skimming right over it. Oh, I think that looks a right mess. Oh, just go on it. Oh. Right, that's one bad mushroom. That looks an absolute mess. Right, I think I'll add this, see what this does. Well, that's going over the purple better than what the purple went over that blue pencil. Just trying to cover that up so it doesn't look so messy. These uh, pencils have got a little bit of crumbliness to them. And I suppose you should never um, brush them aside. You should blow them off in case it marks the background. Right, what's that look like? Well, not bad I guess. Right, just pause you for a sec while I have a drink. And I'm not really bothered, as you can see, from where the light is shining from. I'm not bothered about shadows and stuff. But I mean, it shows you're in the sketch, doesn't it? Like the darker lines here, where the shadows would be. Which is quite handy, because I never know where to put the shadows. Right, should we do something different now? Maybe it's that butterfly. Right, what colour? Um, shall we do an orange? Oh, that's nice and bright. I recently done it, um unboxing of a paper gang stationery box and we got some lovely 3d cards and what a doyle i was i was trying to um get them to stand up and i couldn't and i thought oh well these are rubbish but when i stopped filming i realized that all you had to do was push the concertina sides in and they stood up like a box and they are really good. So, I bet everyone was shouting at me at the screen saying, push in the sides, push in the sides. So, when I get my next month's box, I'll show you the cards. But I mean, still, I should have come with instructions, shouldn't I? Because um, when you give them the cards to people, I don't think everybody will figure out how to do that. It was only because I was messing around with them. Right. It's a shame that butterfly's wings are identical. Because I'm not really into matching, matching things. If I was a butterfly, I'd have odd wings. So much better and more convenient. That's why I've never really attempted to draw a butterfly. I don't think I'll be able to get the wings to match up but like that painting it only shows you the bottom and the top wing it doesn't show the other uh, other wings so that was all right to do 
Right, and there are two in, that's the bottom side, so the bottom side doesn't have to be the same colour. And if I put this darker red down, it will be too severe. So, oh look at that, it's split. Can you see? There, the lead split down there. Not the lead, the colour. Um, so, what about this orange? No, look, um, look rubbish with two oranges, wouldn't it? Watch this, this is like a skin colour. No, I'll use the skin colour for... Oh no, that's not much of a contrast. There, I'll use this red. Can you see? Well, I've just realised I've gone 42 minutes doing this video, which is a very long video, enough to send anyone to sleep. Maybe it's even after the first five minutes. So I will call this a day and upload the video for Lizzie. And then I'll get cracking with something else. I think I might sketch some birds and I'll do a video of that. Anyway... Thank you for watching and putting up with my babbling on. Um, Johnny signing out. See you bye.